Hi there, I'm Skip and congratulations for signing up for your free health check. Now you should have received a pie chart which has 10 sections on it, um, which have a straight line down the middle and five on each side and five on the other side. And each one of those sections is going to represent one of the commandments for health. If you don't have a printer and you can't print it out, don't worry, simply just draw a circle on a page, draw a line straight down it, draw one, two, three, four lines on there so you get five sections on each side and then you can start to fill in each section as we go through this. And it's a very, very simple to fill in. And what will happen is when you get to the end of it, you'll get to see what parts of your life are out of balance because they're the areas we want to be focused on. It's, like, it's not a case of like ignorance of bliss. No, we want to focus on the areas that could be stripping us of energy, that could be like taking our immune system down, that can be basically taking away our God-given rights, which are health, vitality, and energy. So let's get started. So when I go through each commandment, if you're not meeting this commandment at any level, then you're gonna be at 0% and you'll see in the middle, there's 0%. If when I explain it, you feel like, yep, I'm meeting this commandment at exactly the level that Skip's saying, then that's gonna be 100%. Now, if you're then in the middle at 50%, you'll draw a line across that commandment in the middle, so that's from zero to 100%, that'll be straight in the middle, so then you've met that commandment to about 50%. So, let's get started. Commandment number one. Thou shalt oxygenate with correct exercise. We can go weeks without food, days without water, minutes without oxygen, and we're literally dead. The challenge is most people aren't using their lungs correctly and they're only using about 20% of their lung capacity. So we want to be getting in in about 45 minutes a day of some kind of fun exercises. So for some people it might just be simply going out for a 45 minute walk. It doesn't matter what the exercise is, whether it's swimming, whether it's aerobic, whether it's some kind of training, doesn't matter what it is so long as you're doing and you're moving your body for 45 minutes a day in a fun way. Now on top of that, we want to be making sure that we do these deep diaphragmic breaths at least three times a day because we need to really start to stimulate the lymph. And we go into detail, you know, in the book, um, at the live events, you know, we do this event called Detox Your Life where people come and they we really not just give them the education, but we get them to walk through the process based around these 10 commandments for health and literally even just after five days people are completely transformed. So when you start to give your body what it needs, the shifts can happen really, really fast. So if you are exercising for 45 minutes every day, and if you are doing deep diaphragmic breaths at least three times a day, then you just got yourself 100%. If you're not anywhere near that, just draw a line across where you feel um, you're at. You know, 10%, 50%, 80%, wherever you feel that you're at on that commandment. So let's now go to commandment number two. Thou shalt hydrate with clean water. Now, 70% of the planet is water, 70% of your body is water. So 70% of what we want to be drinking should be water. And I'm not talking about fizzy drinks, I'm not talking about Cokes, I'm not talking about coffees and teas and all these like fruit juices that are out there. I'm talking about pure, clean water because 90% of your brain is water and if people are getting like muzzy in the day or if they're getting tired, it's usually dehydration, a lack of water, or it's they're not breathing correctly. So again, and we're not talking tap water because our tap water in England is polluted. Now you've got some horrific things in the water. Um, so you wanna be getting a good source of good, clean water. So again, fill it in where you feel like it. 0% is, I actually don't drink any water a day. 100% is, yep, yeah, I'm getting at least two liters in a day. And that's what you wanna be getting for the average person, about two liters a day, you know, to help the body cleanse itself and to help get rid of all the stagnant water. So you keep your vibration at a good level. So, commandment for health number three. Thou shalt supplement thy diet with essential vitamins and minerals. 
Now these are above food simply because our food supply is so diminished now that studies have been done all around the world and they can show that the minerals are no longer in our soils because of fast crop rotation, because of acid rain, because of the herbicides, the fungicides, the pesticides, all the chemicals they're putting on the crops has basically destroyed all the minerals in the soil. So if the minerals aren't in the soils, how do they get in the foods? The answer is they don't. So we now have to take supplements, but the challenge is that the supplement industry isn't regulated yet. I'm now pushing it so it gets regulated and I'm being told that things are gonna be put in place so it does become regulated. So that means that that's gonna stop synthetic stuff being sold for health products because the challenge is if you're buying supplements from the high streets, the chances are they're probably synthetic, which means that their chemical-based nutrients, which are not natural, they're not, nature didn't make them, and they're also heat-pressed, which you know what happens if we cook a vegetable, we lose all the goodness, and we wanna be making sure that we have a good supplement, um, and the, you know, the challenge is most of the, the network marketing companies, they're all synthetic-based, or they've all got some kind of chemical in them, or they've all gone through some kind of process, which takes that essence of nature out of them. And we want to be making sure that when you take these supplements, your body recognizes them as real food. So then what does it do? It takes those nutrients out and it delivers them to where they're needed in the system. So we want, you want to make sure that you've got something called the superfood matrix delivery system attached to your supplements because that means that one, you've got the superfood matrix within them, which means that the body can recognize it as real food. And then the delivery system makes sure that those nutrients get delivered specifically to what parts of the body they're needed. So without that, what happens is you basically take the supplement, your body has to like use energy to pass it through, and then you end up paying for expensive pee, which is just a waste of money, and it could be actually causing you a health problem in the process. So 0% is I'm not taking you know supplements that have the superfood matrix delivery system. I'm not taking supplements that um, a vegan that the body can recognize as real food. 100% is that, so just gauge where you feel like you're at from 0% to 100%. Next one, thou shalt eat correctly. It, you've heard the gimmick, you are what you eat, and unfortunately, I'm here to tell you that it is a gimmick, and here's why, because I'm sure you all know of people who eat really, really healthy, but they don't look like a picture of health, or they still get ill, or they haven't got the energy um, that they should have, and that's because they're not in balance. They might be focused on eating the right foods, which is great, but there's other areas of their life that they may have neglected. So this is why the Ten Commandments really come into their power, because they give you that easy um, to look at system to say, wow, okay, I need to focus on this commandment or this commandment, or I need to work on this one to really you know, take my life to the next level. Because without our health, all we've got are problems. So we want to really be making sure that we focus on our health, get our health sorted out first, and then do what we want to do in life. So 70% of the planet is water, 70% of your body is water, so 70% of the foods we eat should be water-rich foods. And I'm talking things like fruits, vegetables, salads, things like that. Not too much fruit, because we don't want to be putting too much sugar and acid in the body. We want to be alkalizing the system to make sure that we really do stay in balance and our pH stays at the right level. And again, we go into all this stuff into the book in detail. So you really start to get an understanding of how this body works, what it needs, and how you can easily apply these principles or these commandments to your life so that you really get the best out of life. So again, gauge, 0% is, um, no, I'm shoving dead food in my body and it might be food that's synthetically made or it might be just like convenience food or it might be processed food or it might be um, like meats or dairies or things like that which are actually dead foods. We wanna be putting live nutrients in the body because if you wanna be alive, it helps to eat live, there's no doubt about it. So we want to be talking, you know, we're talking live nutrients just the way nature planned it. And I mean, I haven't eaten meat in eight years now and still can't find one benefit of eating meat. So if anyone has found one out there, let me know because I've tried it. 
um, and I've done all my research and all the research has come back is it's live nutrients because food is only a shuttle system to be able to get nutrients in the body. That's all it is. So nutrients to the baby, we want to be getting live nutrients in our foods. So commandment for health number five, thou shalt love and forgive. Now picture this, you shove two little kids in a playground, they don't know each other, what do they do? They instantly start to play with each other, they start to connect, they've just got love for each other, there's no barrier of them judging them, saying, well, does this person look a little bit weird, or is this, you know, is this kid gonna try and you know, do something to me, or no, they just, they're from their hearts and they're living, their spirit is just like oozing through them. So, do you love people easily? You know, ask yourself this question, when you go out there, are you literally just giving love to people no matter what, because that's who you are, you know, you're just a love being, you know, you're a love bug, you go out there, you just like ooze love onto people. But then what happens if one of these people turn around and they go and dump on you? Do you hold a grudge or do you forgive them easily? Now, if you don't forgive them easily, you're carrying, it's like having a ball and chain around your ankle, you're carrying all this negative stuff with you, which ultimately, is that gonna have an effect on your health? Of course it is. So we want to make sure that we love people easily and we forgive them easily. So again, from 0% to nope, I don't love anyone, and if people do double me, I just don't forgive them because they deserve not to be forgiven. So, and 100% is, you know what, I just love everyone because that's who I am. You know, if you want to feel love, you've got to give it. So I'm just like giving love to everyone because I get to feel it in the process. And yeah, when they turn around and dump me, you know what, I forgive them. Doesn't mean you have to stay in a relationship with them, but it means that you're not holding on to you know, any negative vibes, you're not, you know, you haven't got a grudge towards anyone, you know, you just really, really just out there and giving your best at all times. So, fill that one in. And commandment number six, one of my favorites, thou shalt live with passion. We're on the hunt for electricity 24 seven. This being here, this body, wants to be electrified, it wants to have life and energy pumping through it because why we get to feel better in the process. Now passion electrifies the human system like nothing else on the planet. Now that could even be like just like building um, model sports cars, it could be growing fruits or vegetables, it could be playing a sport, it could be like taking up a hobby, it doesn't matter what it is, so long as you're passionate about it, your system is getting electrified. And this is how come, you know, people who really, really live with passion, I mean, passion alone can literally negate so many dietary sins. Because why? When you're passionate about stuff, you're being electrified and your vibrational frequency is going up and up and up and up and up. And that's ultimately what we want to be focused on doing is raising people's vibrational frequency. Why? Because when your life is in the balance and you apply all these 10 commandments for health, your vibrational frequency gets raised up. And what does that mean? One, you're more energized. Two, your immune system goes through the roof so you're not gonna to have to worry about getting ill or sick ever again. Um, I mean, the list just goes on. That what happens is that you'll start to seize more opportunities. You'll just start to have more to give people. And in that process, you get super charged up and it really is super cool. So again, on living life every day, you know, if you wake up every day knowing that you've got this stuff that you're passionate about and you can't wait to get your teeth stuck into and do, then you'll be at 100%. If you're waking up out of bed and you're just like, oh God, I can't be asked to get out of bed today, I just really can't be bothered. It's because you haven't filled your life up with stuff that you're passionate about. So again, we want to be making sure that this is nearer the 100% mark. Commandment for health number seven, thou shalt enjoy the sun. We're being brainwashed now that the sun is bad for us and we've got to put all these chemicals and all this skin stuff on. That is seeping into the skin and causing people a lot of problems now. Whereas the truth is there would be no life on this planet if it wasn't for the sun. None at all. And the same goes for us, if the sun's not there, we can't be here. So. We want to be getting out in the sun for at least 20 minutes a day, exposing as much as our, uh, of our skin to the sun as we can. And 
What's that going to do? That gives it, there's no vitamin D on this planet that comes close to what the sun can give us. So again, we want to be out there, we want to get in that sun, you know, penetrating through our skin, and it just, I mean, I don't even have to tell you, you know what happens when you wake up and you see the sun out there. It makes you feel good. You know, think about the difference we see between seeing a grey sky and seeing a beautiful sun in the sky. It makes you feel different just even thinking about it. Now, when you step out in the sun, the next thing happens, you get to feel good. So, put down where you're at, 0% to 100%, are you at 50%, are you at 60%, just draw a line wherever you feel is where you're at at the moment. So commandment for health number eight, thou shalt live with a purpose. It's so important for us to know our purpose because when we know our purpose, we give meaning and reason to why we do everything and why we're doing the things that we're doing. Because without knowing your purpose, you're just kind of really existing. And a life of existence compared to a life where you're really living and you're getting the juice out of life, they're two different worlds. So we wanna make sure that you're living in a world where you get that fulfillment and you get that direction as well. Because when you've got that direction, it's like you almost have like an army behind you pushing you in the direction which, which is gonna lead you feeling like Yes, I'm in line with my purpose. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm meant to be doing in life. And what happens then is that it stops you feeling like a victim. Because if we go through life feeling like a victim, going, oh, I don't know what I'm meant to do. I don't really know what I'm like. I don't know what direction I'm meant to move in. And if we keep having that chatter, what's going to happen is a challenge is going to come up, bam, it's going to knock us down. Then another one's going to come up, bam, it's going to knock us down. And we're going to start to go down and our vibrational frequency gets lowered and we start to live life and play life at a lower level. And it sucks at that level. I've been there, I know many people have been there, and when you just start to really focus on these things and with your purpose, when you've read the chapter on purpose in the book, it connects you with, it, it raises your vibrational frequency and it will connect you with something that things are gonna to start to come and you go, oh actually I love doing this, I love doing that, I feel like I should go and do this. And your purpose is gonna to start to open up in front of you. And then what's gonna happen is when you start to walk towards that, you're still gonna get the challenges come because life is full of challenges, but what do they do? It's the challenges that enable us to grow, to become more, to step it up to the next level. So maybe for us to go and achieve this purpose, we have to grow, we have to become more. So that as a challenge comes, boom, it's gonna bounce off you. Boom, another one is gonna bounce off you. And you're gonna get stronger with each challenge that you overcome, you're gonna rise above it. And then you're going to realize that in life, you're actually limitless. And you can actually have everything that you want, so long as you're committed, and so long as you give yourself the best chance by keeping your life in balance. And that's really focusing on these 10 commandments and help to make sure that you're focused on all these areas so that your life stays in balance. And to begin with, when you're focused on them all, you'll be able to say, oh, today, that one's out of balance, that one's out of balance. And very soon, you'll actually be doing this stuff without even thinking about it because it becomes um, a habit then. When you've conditioned it in as a habit, you will start to do the right thing every day that's gonna keep raising your vibrational frequency up. You're gonna stay in balance as your, you know, your life goes up to the next level. So, fill that one in with your purpose. Are you connected with your purpose? Do you know exactly what your purpose is? Do you know why you're here? And if that is the case, you're at 100%. If you don't, then obviously you'll be down near the 0%. Number nine, seven times. So, commandment for health number nine. Thou shalt educate thyself. Now, everything on the planet is either growing, or dying, and exactly the same goes for us. We're either growing or we're dying. Most people are li uh, living a life where they're kind of like dying inside and we don't want to have that. We want to make sure that we keep giving ourselves new ideas, new concepts, new education, new learnings, new teachings, because what does that do? It fills us up with knowledge, it fills us up with something that we can start to apply it so that we can become wise, we can start to use that wisdom 
so that we keep evolving because the more we've got, the more we have to give. And you've heard that saying, the secret of living is in giving. So that if you keep giving to yourself and then you start to give it towards other people, that life force energy, it starts to work through you. And before long, you can't not do the right thing. Even if you don't want to, the life force is working so much through you that you just can't block it. And you don't want to block it because when you're in alignment with who you are, where you want to go, and you're balanced in the process, wow. That is where life really starts to become super cool. Most people don't get anywhere near that. These 10 commandments for health, they really enable you to get to that place easily. It becomes like a fun game because we don't want life to be you know, a hard thing that we have to go out there and live. No, we want to be playing with life. We want to be having fun with life. We are living at the best time ever in life because we've got free will. We have so many choices. We have so many resources. We've got so many options to go out there and have fun with life that there's no reason why we shouldn't be doing it. And if everyone starts applying you know, these 10 commandments for health and they start to get their life in balance and they start to raise their vibrational frequency, imagine what, happen, what will happen with you and your friends and your family if everyone starts to get this stuff, that your relationships are gonna become better, more opportunities are gonna show up, that you're gonna be able to you know, be able to seize and really grab them and, you know, and use those you know, to start to transform your life. So again, fill that one in. You know, if you're learning stuff every day, and it could be you might be learning about your body, you might be learning about the planet, you might be learning about a business, you might be learning about a relationship, you might be learning about how to cook a meal, you might be, it doesn't matter what it is, so long as you're learning and what you're learning is filling your soul up, it's filling you up with good stuff, and then you then start to apply that, wow, you're gonna be on one of the most incredible transformations that you've probably ever been on. So I'm getting excited just thinking that you could be doing this very soon. Commandment number 10. Thou shalt rest and recover. When you've lived your day and you've lived with all nine commandments, you're gonna to wanna to rest. You know, when you sleep, that is the time when your body can be rested, when the mind can be rested, and that any housekeeping that has to happen can simply get done. If you're not sleeping very well, then obviously that's gonna be nearer the zero percent. If you sleep totally like a baby and you're just out for the count and you wake up totally rested and charged up for the next day, then you'll be on 100%. And that doesn't matter whether you're just getting four hours sleep or five or six, seven, however many hours sleep you need, when you wake up, you want to be just like energized up for the day. You know, you want to be waking up like alert and awake straight away. Not one of these people who are waking up and they hear their alarm, they go, snooze. And they're like, oh, snooze. And they just can't wake up. Animals in the wild don't struggle waking up. They don't have to deal with half of the negative stuff that we have to deal with because why? They give their bodies and their what they've got, what it needs. They, it all comes from nature. We're clogging ourselves up with so much stuff that, you know, again, meditation can help with the resting and the recovery. So long as you're waking up feeling fresh and vibrant. If you're not waking up feeling fresh and vibrant, then obviously you're gonna be nearer the 0%. So again, with, what, with a feeling based, um, you know, on, on a feeling based, go with where you're at. You are 100% is, yep, you know, I'm waking up feeling just fresh and vitalized and ready for the day, you know, totally energized, and that your body's done its housekeeping, so you're not waking up with aches and pains and parts of your body breaking down, because when people say, oh, that's just me getting old, you know, I've got this ache or this pain and my eyes are starting to go now, so I need to wear glasses, whatever it might be, no, that's not your, that's not you getting old. What that is, is that's you breaking your body down through lifestyle choices that you've been making so that your body has become toxic and your body can't get rid of these toxins. So you're loading it up with toxins and poisons and your body can't get rid of them. So they stay in the body and they start to break down certain parts of the body. Now, when you apply these 10 commandments for health, what happens is you cleanse out the system. You know, you start to you know, create a lifestyle that starts to, you know, daily, it starts to cleanse your life and starts, instead of starting to rip health, vitality and energy away, 
which are basically our God-given rights. Everybody should have health, energy and vitality. We shouldn't be dealing with all these illnesses. We shouldn't be dealing with these allergies and these sicknesses. All of these things are man-made because of things that we created. So by applying these 10 things, what you'll do is you get to look at your life as like your own health detective. And you'll get to say, oh wow, okay, I need to add more of this in my life, or I need to do more of this. And when you start to do it, you start to feel better. Because ultimately, no matter where we're going, no matter what we're doing in life, we want to be feeling good in the process as often as we can. Because it feels good to feel good. Well done, so that's all the Ten Commandments done. So what I'd like you to do now is to draw um, a line around the outside of each of the lines that you've drawn and link everything up. Look at this wheel now because your body is the only vehicle that's with you from the day you're born to the day you pass. Now it makes kind of sense that if, if our cars, we're not allowed our cars on the road until they go through certain checks. Then if they get ticked, they're allowed to go on the road. Now the challenge is, this vehicle, which is the most phenomenal vehicle that we know of in the whole of our universe, we've got a mind, we've got a body, and we've got a spirit. All three come together in your vehicle. Now most people aren't taking care of their own vehicle. They're using it as a trash can, or they're abusing it, or they're breaking it down in some way. And as they start to get older in life, they start to lose parts of their body, or their eyes start to go, or their body starts to ache, or things start to shut down. And most people call this aging, and it's not aging at all. What it is, is their bodies are becoming so toxic, they're just breaking down. So when you create a balance in your life with these 10 commandments for health, what happens is your cells start to feel that vibrancy, they start to feel the energy, and you see people now in their 60s, 70s, and 80s, and they're starting to incorporate like these 10 commandments for health, and what's happening? They're getting more energy than they've ever had before. Symptoms that they've had are starting to dissolve because they're giving their bodies what they need. And you can only do that when your life is in balance. So what I'd like you to do now is look at what you've drawn and look at your wheel. Because that effectively is like your wheel of health. And based on what you've done, I'd like you to imagine that if you put that wheel on your car, how would your journey be? Would it be a nice smooth journey? Or would it be quite a rocky journey? Have a look at that bit of paper and have a look at what you've drawn and ask yourself that question. This wheel, if this wheel was on your car, how would your journey be? Now what you've drawn is, and all I've done is ask you some questions. What you've written down now, that is your wheel for health. Now health is our greatest wealth. If we don't have our health, all we have are problems. So we want to be you know, charged up, we want to have the energy, we want to have a boosted immune system, we want to be connected at a high level to every single one of these commandments for health. Because what that does is it raises your vibrational frequency and it changes so many things in your lives. You'll have better relationships, you'll start to seize more opportunities, you'll have more energy, you know, sickness and illness, that'll be something that you never even have to deal with ever again because let's say someone walks in, in, in a room and they've got a cold or a flu. Is everybody going to catch it? And of course the answer is not. The people who have a low immune system, it's going to get in their system, it's going to take them down. Someone could walk in here, sneeze in my face, it wouldn't be very nice, but because my immune system is high, it's not really going to affect me. So the idea is to give yourself the gifts, because you you know, we give so much to other people, but how many times do we actually give to ourselves? So these 10 commandments for health, uh, a very, very eat to apply process and it enables you to focus on specific areas of your life to make sure that you're getting the best out of life. So when you look at your wheel, if it isn't a round wheel, then there's definite areas of improvement. So what we're going to do now is have you look at the areas where you're kind of out of balance and what we'll do is we're going to send you um, an email and there's going to be information on that which is gonna help you to focus on these different areas of your life so you start to get the most out of life because a life out of balance isn't too good. So we wanna make sure we get you in balance and then we wanna get you energized, we wanna get your immune system boosted, all applying these 10 commandments for health. So I hope you enjoyed the free health check. Well done and look at your areas and 
please make sure you take action because you don't want to be someone who just looks at it and says, oh yeah, I'm out of balance, but then you do nothing about it. Because if you're out of balance now, and you leave it another six months, another year, another three years, another five years, and you continue this journey without making these shifts, you're gonna end up in a much, much worse place. So please make sure that you, you know, you're somebody who you become your own like health detective, and you say, right, I'm taking back control of my life. I'm making sure that I am gonna be healthy, or I'm making sure that if I've got a health symptom, I can apply these 10 commandments for health and I can start to move my life in the right direction. Because taking a pill and taking a chemical, the studies now show that more people are dying of these chemicals that we call medicine than that are actually dying in war, which is shocking. So having this holistic approach, giving your body, giving your mind, giving your soul, giving it everything it needs is right here for you and it's all within these 10 commandments for health. So I look forward to seeing you very soon. And for now, live strong, live healthy, and live long, and have a fantastic day.